Hi everyone, I'm the Whiskey Enthusiast, welcome back to my channel. Now we have a Talisker here, which is always a good day to have a Talisker, and uh, this is the Sky, named after the island Talisker is produced. Of course this is the old bottling, uh, the new bottling, I'm not a massive fan of this too, like that baby thing and the colors and stuff, but they had to, they had to change it because on this one, it says the only distillery on the Isle of Skye. But since the introduction of Torah Vague, they had to change the oldest distillery on the Isle of Skye. I'll show you the bottle. This is the Talisker Skye. Uh, generally called the baby Talisker. Why? Um, it's designed to be a bit more rounded, a bit more softer side of Talisker for people who find the original 10 uh, a bit too much. Still get the same characters, but it is said to be matured in toasted um, American oak. Refill and first fill toasted American oak with the more percentage being toasted. So we're supposed to get uh, the same maritime flavors, uh, a bit more rounded off and maybe less uh, strong. Let's see, let's dive in. Now on the nose, you know it's a talisker. It is a bit subdued, but it's still sad. By the way, the uh, alcohol by volume is still the same, 45.8. Uh, it shouldn't chill filter than color added. It is a talisker. Uh, it just gets you near there and then doesn't finish you. But sounds a bit naughty, but that's what they're doing. Anyway, so yes, <laughs> back to the review. Um, yes, yeah, so on the nose, it's undeniably talisker, but Feels sweeter. Feels like the brakes are on. Citric, lemon, honey, orange rind, much less smoke. If Talisker Dark Storm is the smokiest Talisker, which I made a review, the link's up there. This is the smokeless Talisker. Spice is there, very little. It is a light touch. It is a light touch. I can see how it would appeal to people. It could be a nice gateway to Talisker. Cumin, thyme, wild thyme, lemon oil, a little bit of a eucalyptus note, a little minty, and uh, underneath the peat. You smell the peat. Quite maritime, salty. It's time on the palate. Mm. Yeah, again, same notes, sure, Talisker and um, Maritime, smoky, salty, seaside, seaweed, those peats, smoke, but it's all, the breaks are there, you know, it just doesn't get you there, you don't get that same effect you get with the Talisker 10, uh, even the Port Rui, or the Distillers Edition, Storm, Dark Storm. It's not, see, I don't, I don't like it because I want my Talisker to be like a Talisker. And the price difference with the 10 and this, it's negligible. So I wouldn't know anyone who would uh, get a Talisker Sky instead of a 10. Unless they're starting to, you know, they, they, they tasted the 10 and it was too strong for them. So they're going for the sky. But I, I don't know. I can't see that happening. So as a recommendation, yeah, I'm going to go for two Glencairns. I'm not going to say not buy it. Uh, so two Glencairns out of three. So try it before you buy it. Maybe this is the Talisker for you. It's definitely not the Talisker for me. It's not bad. Don't get me wrong. It's well-rounded, it's light, but it just feels a bit too sweet, a bit too subdued to give you that Talisker oomph. Now, what are we going to do with this dram? I'm not going to massively enjoy it on its own. I might have an idea how to use it. And here I introduce you to someone from the same island. This is Drambui. Yes. It is, unless, you, I don't know if you know Drambui, but it's been around for ages, apparently since 1745. Drambui, what is Drambui? It is a 
whiskey and honey liqueur or spirits. You can't call it whiskey, even though it's 40% ABV. It's produced and bottled in Scotland. Uh, the unique blend of aged Scotch whiskies, spices, and heather honey. I'll read the back. Drambui, the unique blend of aged Scotch whiskey, spice, and heather honey, made to recipe closely guarded since 1745. Its rich golden color, complex aroma, and depth of flavor offer taste of extraordinary uh, ness. So, Drambui, what does it mean? It, mean? it comes from the Gaelic Andrambuida, means that the drink that satisfies and has a very cool story because it's from the same island, it's from Sky. So Bonnie Charles Stewart, the last Stewart uh, would be king of the Scots uh, Catholics. After the Battle of Culloden, uh, he flees to uh, Sky and he gives the captain of his ship as a thank you, his family recipe of Drambui to the McKinnon clan. And then it just goes on onto the sky. Some gives, they give it to the hotel owner, they give it to another clan, and then it's produced. Right now, it's safeguarded by uh, Brian Kinsman of Grant and Sons of Glamfiddy. So it's in good hands. They produce it. Now, Drambui on its own is too sweet for me. It's, uh, you can taste the whiskey there. It might be a good gateway start to a whiskey journey for someone who doesn't enjoy the whiskey flavors, but you get the honey and the spices as well. So what do I do with the grand, uh, Drambui? Rusty Nail is one of my favorite cocktails. And I think Talisk, people use it with blended scotch, but Talisk Sky, I don't know, there's a romanticism there. Same island, same character. I really enjoy having it with Talisker Sky. So just give me a sec. I'm going to grab my uh, glass with the crushed ice. And I'm going to show you for the first time on this channel a cocktail. Just wait. Right, I'm back. So I have this uh, glass full of ice. It's supposed to be crushed ice or I have small pieces of ice. It works just as well. It is the simplest cocktail. You can just arrange it as much as uh, you want the sweetness or the smokiness, um, whatever flavor you want to be uh, the dominant one. So it's, I do it two to one ratio. Some people do it one to one ratio. Uh, I do it two to one ratio because um, it's just a bit uh, too sweet for me otherwise. So I put two measures of Talisker Sky, which is, this is my jigger of, uh, it's finished, see? 40 ml. Which is doesn't matter, whatever your jigger is, 50, 60, I don't know. So it's, I do it 80 to 40 for the sky. And again, you can do it with any kind of whiskey. I just like the romanticism of it and I need an excuse to finish this. So, uh, but you can do it with black label, double black, uh, any kind of uh, blended scotch. Generally, that's what the recipe is. Is this, yeah, this is a um, super sweet, but spicy, interesting. So 80 Talisker, 40 Drambui, there we go. You can add a little bit of lemon slice in there. Some people add Angostura bitters to make the bitters rise. I have my Angostura bitters over there somewhere and I just generally don't. There you go. Mix it, mix it, mix it. It's fine. It's nice. Up and then uh, this goes somewhere. I've not done a cocktail here before, so this is not going great, but whatever. <laughs> there we go. And this is the simplest cocktail you can get and it's really nice. Mm. So you get the smokiness from that talisker, you get the honey, you get the spices from Drambui. It, they complement each other so well. You can, it's not super sweet, it's not super spicy, not super smoky. I think it is a fantastically balanced cocktail. But like I said, you can do one to one ratio, you can do three to one ratio in favor of talisker if you want it even more robust, which I can understand. Uh, but if you find Drambui, definitely get it and try it. Try it on a rusty nail. And apparently there are other cocktails out there with Drambui, but this is the one I really like. So cheers, guys. Uh, hopefully you liked it. Uh, a bonus content for you, a cocktail as well. 
you know. Matt from Whiskey Nerd would approve. Matt, cheers to you, my friend. Uh, hopefully you like this cocktail. And um, yeah, this is my recommendation for Talisker Sky. What do you do with it? I hope you liked it. If you do, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. I'll see you on to the next one. Cheers, guys.